the the locker room is a, is is almost like recess for the students. So there is there are quite a few social interactions that happen in the locker room, and it's it's a great time for you to have an opportunity just to chat and talk. Kids tend to hang back there when they have a free moment, and they feel like it's their space, and that's okay. It's good to have kind of student space. Some of the actions that go on, I'd say, are constructive. Some are constructive in terms of building the kind of community you want to have a safe place. They are tucked away enough that it's probably one of the few places um, inside the buildings where students might get into some shenanigans, whether it be making a phone call or texting or um, maybe two students who have eyes for each other would be doing something more than making eyes at each other. <laughs> You know, putting somebody in a locker, you know, those kinds of things, those are not particularly constructive. Well, it's an interesting sort of philosoph philosophical question about why we don't have lockers that have real locks on them. We don't prohibit students from putting locks on there, but the reason that we don't supply locks is that what we're about here is creating a learning community and the community piece is the part that says why we don't have locks on there. When we first put lockers in I was a little nervous about that because my experience had been in public schools where you know, if the locker was open people were pretty quick to examine what was in there and help themselves to things. But I have lots of respect for our students and they have sort of risen to that occasion. They've said okay, you know, I know that I could go in here, but I know that someone could go into mine, and I don't want that to happen, and I won't do that to somebody else. So that's really the reason that we don't have locks. Okay, so when I was in sixth grade, there was kind of I, just people messing around with the lockers, you know, people would shove little wads of paper into the, like, the little holes where the locks would go and make it so, oh, no, you can't open it. It's like, okay, it's fine. You just push it out. It's fine. It's no big deal. And someone decided to actually put a lock on my locker and go, oops, I forgot the combination. So after a month of me being without a couple of books that I really needed, I decided, okay, you know what? I don't need the books I borrowed from the library. I'm going to get these out. And so we decided that we were going to use sawzalls, which were pretty much giant saws. Those didn't work, actually. We had to use bolt cutters to get the locks off. If you look at locker R2 in the middle school locker room, all that damage, just like the paint <laughs> scraped off, the dents in it, just all of that is just ugh, bad. It's, there's been multiple occasions of horrible, horrible things being left in lockers and left to mold. <laughs> there have been like locker doors being ripped off their hinges, entire lockers falling over. There's been people, not naming any names, who have had their sandwiches in their lockers for two months on a time, you know. Well, back, back home we, we do not have lockers like this. Our books are, I lived, I, I attended a boarding school, so our books are um, always being carried around and we leave them in your hostels. We do have backpacks and then um, some kind of boxes where we leave our books in after classes. What's in your locker? What do you keep in there? Um, basically my test books and my binders. Sometimes it's very difficult to get access to your locker, especially me. My locker is at the way far end there, so I will have to kind of um, go in between people to get access to it. Me llamo Tarek, soy de España, concretamente de Galicia. Voy a un instituto llamado Rosales II. Eh, no, no tenemos lockers, tenemos. Estamos siempre en la misma clase, el que se mueve es el profesor y por lo tanto tenemos como un armario muy grande donde todos podemos poner nuestras cosas. Eh, sí, tenemos mochilas, pero como ya he dicho, lo ponemos todo en el mismo armario. La verdad es que no tengo nada, lo tengo todo en casa. No me gusta dejar las cosas en el locker, no sé, es una costumbre.
He doesn't have anything. He has everything at home. Do you have lockers in Germany? Um, no. There are um, some public schools, we have them, but if we have lockers, you can actually lock them. So, like, is West Sound, do you like it better having a locker than having to carry everything around? Yeah, I do. I do like it better. Um, but do you think the lockers are good enough? Like, do you wish they could lock or do something? I like the lockers, and it's probably good that we can't lock them because I would forget the code and stuff. Yeah. What so, do you have in your locker? What do I have in my locker? Yeah. My books, my backpack, my lunch, okay. and my raincoat, and that's it. Yeah, I wish it was um, a bit bigger than the size, but how to like um, make it bigger like how it's already set up and all those stuff i don't know if it is possible but if it is um possible to make it bigger it would be very helpful bigger locker rooms i've heard a lot of people talking about that um it's crowded in both of the locker rooms like even when i first came here in sixth grade it was as crowded as it is now if not worse es que debería haber una contraseña para cada locker, porque si no cualquiera puede acceder a tus cosas, ver lo que quieran, robar lo que quieran. Entonces yo pienso que estaría mejor tener una contraseña y que el locker room fuera un poco más grande.